hi guys welcome back to my channel today i want to show you a simple breakfast or dinner recipe so stay tuned and watch this video till the end these are the things we need to prepare this delicious meal here is my tilapia fish which i've already washed so i will be drying it now i just want to dry out the water before I will start marinating it. I'm using ordinary pepper towel to dry out the water. Once I'm done drying out the water, I will use my scissors to take out the fin of the fish. This is optional. If you don't want to take it out, you can leave it. But I just want to clean out the fish. So that's why I'm doing it. So once I'm done cleaning out the fish, I will use my knife to make several cuts on the fish so that the marinade will enter inside the fish very well. And I will also repeat the same thing on the other side. And once I'm done, it should be looking like this. So, I will start preparing the marinade. And here are the list of the ingredients I will be using. Here is my garlic powder. Here is my ginger powder. And I also have onion powder. You can use the fresh ones, but you have to blend it first with your blender. Here is my smoked paprika. Here is my dry thyme, and over here is my dried pepper, my Osen soka. And here is some olive oil which I will be adding. I will also be adding these grilled spices. If you don't have this grilled spice, you can add your no cube, but this has a lot of salt, so I will not be adding no cube. Here is my rosemary. I almost forgot to bring out my salt so I will also be adding some salt to this as well so let's get right into the preparation here is my small bowl which I will use to mix all the spices I want to use this opportunity to thank each and every one of you that is watching this video you are so appreciated may God bless you for watching now I'll be adding at least a tablespoon or half a tablespoon of each spices. The list of the spices I use here will be listed in the description box below. So feel free to check it out as well. You can add or reduce the number of spices you use depending on your test board or depending on how you want this to test. Okay. It's not a must, you will use exactly what I used. And if you don't have the powdered onion, garlic, ginger, you can use the fresh one. You just blend it with your olive oil. You don't need to add water in it. Just blend with your olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, use any vegetable oil you have. And here is my smoked paprika, which I just added. I love this paprika because it had that smoky flavor. I will add in my thyme. Now I follow it up with my grilled crater, which is my spices. You can use only this grilled crater to grill your fish or your meat. I will add in some salt to it as well. Then I follow it up with my rosemary. Now I can add my vegetable oil or olive oil, but I'm using olive oil. Now I will add my pepper. Add pepper to your taste, guys. I don't eat too much pepper, so I'll not be adding a lot. Then I will give this a stir. 
I notice it's a bit thick, so I will drizzle more olive oil in it. Then I will combine everything together. And my marinade is ready. So I will start spreading it on the fish. And I will make sure that I put it inside those cuts that I made earlier. I will flip it over and put on the other side as well. And I will make sure I coat the head of the fish and inside the fish very well. Just like so. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, you are much welcome. Kindly subscribe and enable notifications so that you will be among the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So once I'm done, I will keep my fish aside and start cutting my plantain. I will be cutting the plantain in two different shapes. You can cut yours in any shape you want. But when cutting it in this shape, you have to be very careful not to break the plantain. And you have to cut it very thin. Please remember to share out this video to your family, your friends and your colleagues and leave your comments below. Then I will sprinkle some salt on the plantains, which is optional. If you don't want to sprinkle some salt on your plantain, you can leave this process. For my egg sauce, I will be using some tomato. I have my egg, my onion, I have my spring onion, and I have some bouillon powder. I will also be adding some pepper, my thyme, my rosemary. That's what I will be adding and here is my oil. Once the oil is hot, I will start by adding some thyme to it. And I follow it up with my rosemary. Then I will add my onion and I will allow this to saute for a minute. After a minute, I will add my tomatoes. I have two tomatoes here. Then I will give this a stir and allow this to fry for 5 minutes. My fish has been marinating for over 1 hour, so I will start grilling it now. But first of all, I will rub some oil on top of my oven rack. Then I will keep my fish on top of the rack and put it in my oven to grill. Since I've already marinated it and fish doesn't take long to cook, I'll be grilling it on the highest heat. I'll be using 250 Celsius to grill the fish for 15 minutes. Then my sauce is almost ready. I will give it a stir and I will add my spring onion. I'm using frozen spring onion. That's why it's looking like this. Then I will add some pepper. I will follow it up with my seasoning powder. You can use any seasoning cube of your choice, okay? Then I will give this a stir. I will also test for salt. Then I will add a little bit of salt. Now I can add my egg into it. I will allow the egg to cook for a while. At least once I start seeing those bubbles on the top, then I will move it a bit. I will allow it to start cooking again, at least for a minute. And once I see another bubble, I will still move it. I will not be turning it very well. I just move it around so that it will not burn. That's just what I will be doing till the egg is cooked properly. And after a while, the egg is ready, so I'll be taking it out from the heat. And I will start frying my plantains. Once my plantain is ready, I will take it out from the oil and fry the other one. You have to be very careful when frying this, because if you don't handle it with care, you will break it.
my fish has been growing for over 15 minutes now and it's almost ready but i want to put another marinade on top of it so that the color will be popping so i will just use my brush and rub some marinade on top of the fish and once i'm done putting it on this side i will flip it over to the other side because i want both sides to remain the same color and also to be crunchy when you look at the fish you will notice that the outside is crunchy but the inside is still very juicy now i will flip the fish over to the other side and repeat the same thing on the other side but be careful when flipping your fish not to break it put it back in your oven and grill for five minutes then the fish is ready while waiting for the fish to grill for more five minutes i will start decorating my plate this is how I put my long plantain. I just roll it around each other like so. Then I can now introduce my fish inside my plate. I will add my egg sauce. If you don't want to use egg sauce and eat this food, you can use pepper sauce. And that is it for today's video. Till I come your way again. Bye!